Wow, it's been a little bit of time. Been a little over a week since I posted a video. Yeah, life, life in general, life in general. So your boy Classic Game Freak has been playing some games when he's not dealing with life and the stresses that come with life. Today I decided to do something a little bit different. Decided that since I hadn't made a video, I wanted to make something. So uh, this is a recommend video. Lately, uh, when I went on that hunt last weekend, one thing I was doing a lot of was looking at my phone, trying to figure out different prices for different games to get more bang for my buck. Now, I am an avid Android user. Uh, I've tried Apple, and I really don't care for Apple products. Uh, yes, I do own an iPad and so on, but you know, to be quite honest, it collects dust. So, I use my Android phone. Now, as a collector, the first question in my mind was, what can I use on this that will help me while I'm on the hunt? And I've got, uh, I'll go ahead and give three recommendations here. So uh, let's get this started. The first recommendation I have to give is an app called VG Collect. And uh, I have used it a little bit. You've got the options for, you know, your collection and your wish list and, uh, you know, you can browse and so on. And while that's great, um, like I put, I put a couple on there. Uh, I bought Life Force the other night, and I put that on there. And then I tried Ninja Gaiden 3 since it was complete, since I have it complete inboxed. And uh, I tried it out, and so as you can see, you know, I've got them up there. If it'll focus for me, yeah, as you can see there. So, and I mean, it'll give you the details on said game. See, it's actually still loading the the art there, but it gives you some details. See, there's the art. And it gives you some details when it came out and so on, and that's great. The problem is, is it doesn't give you a uh, a price on the games. Uh, it doesn't give you kind of an average price. Still a great app. Check it out, and it's free. The next app is Nintendo Hunter Pro, and what this does is it gives you four different consoles: the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and I think the regular Game Boy. As far as collecting goes and as you can see I've already kind of listed it up there got 101 games on the Nintendo and it shows an average cash value of $972 now don't get me wrong I don't agree with a lot of the prices on here but the great thing about that is let's say okay uh, 1943 as you can see there uh, green's a little bit more rare whites uh, common yellows even more rare you can actually go, hold down that title, and you can actually edit the prices. So you've got the new inbox, complete inbox, and loose prices. And then if you want, you can go back and uh, reset to the defaults, which is great. I actually really recommend this program. Now you can get a light edition of this app for, <clears throat> for free. It lets you use the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, but doesn't give you the features like the hold down and change the prices and so on, but still very good if you're looking to keep track of your collection and kind of, kind of how much it's, it's, uh, how much value your collection is holding. And last, but definitely not least, this is the app that everybody needs to have on their Android phone whenever they're out in the hunt and need a price quick. This is the video game price charts. And as you can see here, it gives you Different categories, Nintendo, Genesis, or uh, Sega, Atari, Sony, and then others. And then from there, we'll go to the Nintendo. And from there, you can change up the way it is from alphabetical to highest to lowest, and it'll give you a rough price, kind of debating on, it kind of uses what's going on eBay at that moment and kind of the average prices. Now what's great, uh, let's go ahead. Um, I'm gonna pick a game here. Let's pick something kind of early, kind of higher in the list here. It goes by alphabetical and so far I haven't seen a way to actually do a search. So uh, <laughs> let's use Bubble Bath Babes. As you can see, used price right now, $749. New price, none. You see down there, you got the option for eBay, Amazon, and half. And then you can actually go and see it by hitting that and it'll take you to the eBay page. Now, here's what I really like. 
it uses a chart to show you kind of how the prices have been fluctuating uh, over the past about three years. And of course you can actually zoom in or zoom out. So if you want to get in on, on a date, there you go. You can kind of kind of see what the prices have been doing. So there you go. Apps that every collector should have on their phones whenever they're out on the hunt and on the fly. Pulling up eBay through your browser takes forever. These will help you. So thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. Uh, it's definitely helped me and I'm looking forward to using it on that big hunt that, I have, that I'm going on on the night. So um, thanks for watching everybody. Talk to you all soon. Cheers.